This is the specimen of the cerebellum. Now here you can see the difference between cerebrum and cerebellum is the feature on the surface. On the cerebrum we had seen the sulca and gyri, the large folds. Here you find a thin paper like folds. So these are the thin paper like folds, they are known as folia. Folium is singular and folia is plural. So these are the thin paper like folds on the surface of cerebellum. As you can see the cerebellum has two cerebellar hemispheres. It is connected in the midline by a vermis. This is superior vermis which is seen on superior surface. So two cerebral hemisphere between them is a superior vermis on superior surface. This is superior. This is a wide anterior cerebellar notch where you will find brainstem. This is a posterior cerebellar notch where you find fox cerebelli. Here on the superior surface we find a V-shaped fissura prima or primary fissure. This fissure separates the anteriorly, the anterior lobe and posteriorly, the posterior lobe or middle lobe. This posterior lobe is continuous on the inferior surface also. So if we see the upside down, the inferior surface of the cerebellum, we find that it is in the midline there is a velliculum. Here on each side we find some rounded elevation that is known as tonsil. Apart from this whole thing is the middle or the posterior lobe. In front of it there is a small part which is not seen in this specimen damaged but that is the flocculus, that is flocular nodular lobe which will be here. This is the anterior wide anterior cerebellar notch, this is the posterior cerebellar notch. But here you find the flocculus which is not seen in this specimen. So this is the inferior surface of the cerebellum. If we cut it and try to see the internal features we can see that, you can see this, there is a branches of tree-like appearance. This branches of tree-like appearance is known as arbor vitae cerebelli. Arbor vitae cerebelli. So this is what is all about as far as cerebellum is concerned.